Hello guys, Captain Walsh here. This is the first in the video series on how to pass your basic flight eval for fixed wing. Um, this is going to be quick video tutorials that will give you an idea of what to expect in your fixed wing eval. Um, if basically I will just take the role of the student in these evals and point out stuff here and there. Uh, if you do these similar to the fashion that I do them, I guarantee you will pass your eval. Alright, so there's no surprises in these. Uh, task number one is going to be a pre-flight um, and startup on our aircraft here. You will be over here probably at um, jet service area at Telos, and this is our F-16. So the pre-flight consists of just a walk around. We're going to circle the aircraft, look for any obvious damage. Um, there is a simple damage model in Arma, um, and the damage would be wildly apparent. I do not see any damage, um, so we're good on that front. Then you want to look for obstructions and there are none in front of us and debris around or near the aircraft we've got wheel chalk there that would need to be picked up um, we've got a, a boom stick of some sort and a um, some engine intake pads so we would point those out to your instructor and ask them to get those cleaned out back here we have uh, some ammunition and some weapons those are not safe there because they're in the path of our backblast, our jet uh, jet wash. Those could potentially ignite and explode, blow us up. So you would want those pointed out. This other stuff here, the structures, these poles, um, the fear missile cage, none of that stuff uh, matters. You just want to point out the stuff underneath the aircraft or the potential danger uh, specifically right behind it. So that completes a walk around. Now we can mount up in the aircraft itself. Uh, some aircraft provide um, feedback, like you could see the ailerons raise or lower back there. This one doesn't. Most of the vanilla stuff does, so you would check your control surfaces, make sure that they're good. Get your radios tuned to the applicable frequencies. Um, I've already tuned my radio to 100 per what's on the map here. Um, the long range is not functioning in the F-16 right now, or I would tune that to 5-0. Uh, in, or your backpack radio tuned to five zero. Get our lights turned on, both collision and um, your taxi lights. And then we're going to be good to go to call up ATC, get our permission uh, to start up. Tell us ATC, Eagle 1 at Jet Service Pad 2, request engine start. Clear to start, Eagle One. All right, so we can start up. I happen to have my uh, effects turned down pretty significantly, so probably not hearing that engine, but we're spooled up. We can go ahead and call Telos uh, for our taxi. Telos Tower, Eagle One at the Jet Service Pad Two, request taxi to be active. Eagle 1, Telos. Cleared to taxi via Alpha. Hold short 2-2. Two two. Uh, taxi via Alpha, hold short 2-2, two two, Eagle 1. Alright. So, go ahead and taxi. You're supposed to uh, do your best to keep the uh, yellow center line on your nose wheel. And then stay within the um, taxi speed parameters, which is going to be 35 kilometers per hour. So. Just take it nice and easy, head out there. ATC has told us um, to hold short of the runway. You know what a hold short point is. We're just going to head out there, um, tap our brakes, give them a call, and, and see what they want us to do next. center line a little bit there because my track IR, I have to keep my track IR locked or else I, I move my head too much, can't see where I'm at. Alright, so here's 2-2, two two. Uh, right, tell us tower Eagle 1 holding short 2-2 two two right. Eagle 1, Telos, cross 2-2 two two right, hold short 2-2 two two left. Uh, clear to cross, hold 2-2 two two left, Eagle 1. OK, 
Okay. That's going to be our active for departure, I believe. Uh, tell us, Eagle 1 holding short, 2-2 two, two left. Eagle 1, Telos. You are cleared to depart to 2 left. Maintain runway heading until clear my airspace. Have a good flight, sir. Uh, clear to depart, 2-2 two, two left. We'll maintain uh, runway heading. Uh, have a good day, sir. Okay, on the runway. Line up with the center. Cleared out so we can punch it. Just want to hold that center line. Make sure you use a gentle um, back pressure so you don't strike that tail. Gears coming up. Again, my effects are turned way down so you can't hear it. And we're just going to maintain that runway heading and climb out. And tell us Tower Eagle 1 uh, departing your airspace to the west. And that's it. We'll go into the uh, flight maneuvers next.